Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm looking a little crazy today. I just got my hair washed and dried. Um, I'm gonna be doing a hair tutorial after this. That's why it looks like this. But first, I want to finish my face. I went ahead and did my eyes, but I wanna show you guys what I've been doing. What foundation I have been obsessing over. And of course, you know it's from the drugstore. I love testing drugstore makeup. So what I've been obsessing over is the Maybelline Dream Radiant, Li Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. It's got hyaluronic acid, it's got collagen. Um, yeah, it's got a bunch of good stuff. It says it gives up to 12 hours of continuous hydration. It visibly improves the look of the skin. I totally agree with that. About medium coverage, I love a more satin foundation, satin to dewy foundation. Oily skin girls and guys may not love this. It's not super dewy, so maybe if you use a really good matte primer, you could totally get away with this but I just love how my skin looks with this. Pores are eliminated, like it doesn't sink into my smile lines and my wrinkles, like you have to give this a try, you guys. I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna apply it on my face. I'm giving you a really good up close view of what my skin is looking like. It's not too bad. I've kind of got some like red patches. My skin's been kind of dehydrated lately. I'm gonna show you how I do my face routine. Um, when I can go out, I know we're all kind of isolated and stuck inside the house, but it's a perfect time to practice on your makeup skills and maybe try to <laughs> play and change things up, see if it works for you, you know? I'm gonna show you what I use for bronzers and blush and just how to get your face looking complete. So if you're interested in this type of video, then just stay tuned. So what I usually use to put on my foundation is a sponge. I love this but this has changed my foundation routine. It is so much easier and faster. So this is the Tati Beauty Sponge. It will apply your makeup flawlessly. So I'm going to use this for my foundation. Again, you can use a sponge, you can use a brush. My camera cut out, you guys, but I wanted to show you what I use as primer. I use this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It's a little more expensive, but it's amazing, you guys, and it helps my makeup last all day long. I grabbed the shade 35 New Beige. I put a little bit of self-tanner on, pump a little bit on the back of my hand there, just like so. Normally, when I do foundation, I always warm it up on the back of my hand, and then I'm just going to swipe this all over. My neck is darker. So my foundation does not match my face, but it will match my neck. And just start kind of swiping and patting. And then when I do swipe, I'm not dragging. I'm not pulling my skin. After I kind of swipe it to move it around, I'm just sitting here patting. Kind of like what I do with the Beauty Blender. I do a lot of patting motions like this, but I don't know. This is just so much faster. I mean, look how big it is. Of course it's faster. Some people, I guess you can do this too, they just put it right on the sponge and they just go to town. But I don't know, I've always just like to warm up my foundation first. I love using this down my neck. It just makes it so easy. If you don't put your foundation a little down your neck, definitely try and just see the difference because sometimes we just can't get our foundation to match perfectly. And that really, really helps when you drag it down. I was like, I usually don't layer up my foundations a whole lot just because I like more of a natural looking coverage, but you can definitely build this up. It's definitely medium coverage right now. All my little red patches are gone. All this I'm going to take care of with concealer. I really don't build up underneath my eyes with foundation, then go in with concealer because that's just a whole lot of product underneath there and I have wrinkles. So close up, no more little red patches. You cannot see hardly any pores. My smile lines have not come through. Now they will probably come through just ever so slightly, probably after like five or six hours. But some foundations that I try, like they're instantly sucked in right when I put it on. That's when I know I will not like the foundation. Okay, now I'm gonna finish the rest of my face. Mostly the video is just going over how amazing this foundation is, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I finish my face. Let's move on to concealer. What am I gonna use today? I did splurge and I did buy the Hourglass concealer that they just came out with not too long ago. This is so amazing, you guys. Like, it's been a hot minute since I've used an expensive concealer.
and that concealer is also way too light. I totally forgot because it's been forever since I put on makeup. And so I'm going to have a super bright under eye today. We're going to go very Kim Kardashian-ish. But once we get our bronzers and all that stuff on, it'll come together. I try to blend down here on my cheeks so I don't just have two little white stripes underneath my eyes. Definitely blend and that's why I put it on my nose. I put a little bit on my forehead and then on my chin so it kind of brings lightness to those areas. And then when I put my bronzer and stuff on, everything will come together. I used to never do this. I would just do foundation all over, even underneath my eyes. And it's just like, you're just one color all over. Your features don't pop out as good. I don't know, it just, when I started changing my makeup routine to doing concealer like this, that's a couple of shades lighter than my foundation, just looks so much better. So I'm just gonna do my normal routine. I'm gonna put a little bit of powder right here on my nose just to help it from you know breaking apart throughout the day and it just lasts better. But again, that Hydro Grip Primer works amazing too. Especially if you're oily, definitely always just set your foundation with some translucent powder. I forgot to tell you what this is. This is the Fenty Beauty um, powder, uh, Pro Filter powder in the shade Butter. It's translucent, it's super soft, finely milled. It melts into your skin, you guys. It makes your face just look like you have a filter. Get it on my Beauty Blender just kind of lightly and just around the areas where my makeup tends to wear the most. Now let's start bringing some depth to the face. So we're done. Grab your favorite bronzer. I'm using a ColourPop F21 brush. It's kind of like angled, kind of contoured, but it fits perfectly in the hollows of my cheeks when I apply my bronzer. And then right now I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion, <laughs> Pro Fusion bronzer. I just really like this one because I'm super dry right now and it's got more of a cream creme finish to it however you say it creme creme finish it's not super powdery so when i'm super dry if i use a powder that's really powdery like a bronzer that's really powdery then i don't know my skin just looks kind of dead but there's several bronzers that are amazing you don't have to just go out and buy this one add just a little to the temples of my forehead i always like to do this shadow around my face I always add just a little bit right here to my nose with my bronzer if your bronzer is super orangey don't do this but it's more cool tone so I feel like I can do bronzers this. on we're looking a little bit better under eyes are still a little bright for my liking but it's okay we're gonna ignore it we're gonna keep going the ColourPop super shock cheek blush in thanks for the Memories, I think is what it's called. It's a cream kind of like that bronzer So I feel like it just melts into my skin especially when it's dry and I just I just love looking hydrated and youthful and not over powdery So I've been digging these type of products Everything just looks fresh fresh face Look how pretty that is. Oh It's not too intense. It's like that perfect kind of peachy corally pink shade I guess you would say but not like too intense so you can see this cheek Versus this cheek. This one's just more kind of basic, bare, I think. And then you turn it and you got a little color. And so what I'm doing, I'm just buffing this on with the Duo Fiber Brush from e.l.f. This is like a cheap brush that I've had for years, but the Duo Fiber kind of looks like that. The bristles are very soft. You like the sunburnt nose look? I do. <laughs> you know when you get a sunburn being outside and your nose has got a little pinky color to it? I don't know. I just like that. I'm going to highlight my face really quick because I love a highlighter. If you're not a fan of highlighter, if you're super oily, um, you have a lot of texture on your cheeks, your forehead, whatever, you might want to skip this step, but I'm okay right now. If I have a big pimple, you know, pop up right here, I'll skip the highlighter. Anastasia just came back out with this palette and I missed my opportunity to buy this like several years ago. So when I seen that they were coming out with the Nicole Guerrero highlighting palette again, I had to buy it. I'm a makeup collector and I wanted this so bad when it came out and I couldn't get it because it sold out so quick. So yeah, I jumped on this, you guys. But they're super affordable, beautiful highlighters from the drugstore. So I'm gonna take a mixture of like this one and this one and this one. I'll we'll take, oh, it's so pretty, you guys. How does anyone not love highlighter though? I just, I love highlighter. I do, I do, I do. Little to my nose. 
those just down in the center. I like to bring whatever's left on the brush up on my temples. I'm going to finish my under eyes off camera, just putting a little bit of shadow that I put in my crease and some mascara and some inner corner highlight. That's all I'm gonna do. You don't need to see it. We'll be right back. And we're back. I'm gonna do the lips on camera. I love big lips. I wish I could afford fillers, but I can't pay $500 twice a year. I just, oh, um, maybe one day, maybe one day. So what I do is I overline. Um, my lips are uneven on the top. One side sits up higher, my bottom lips bigger. So I just love to make these more proportioned, more even. ColourPop lip liner in BFF. It's like a nudie brown color. Love this, especially when making my lips bigger. So here's what my lips look like now. Got foundation over them so you can't really see them. It's really crazy right now. There's the bottom line. Let's do the top. And that's it. Some days I make the Cupid's bow a little bit more prominent, a little bit more sharper, but we're going with more of a, you know, curve today. So after I put it on both sides, I'm going to feather it down on my lips. When my lipsticks and lip glosses fade, this at least helps have some color so you don't just see these weird lines like this. Kind of it's gonna be super simple. All I'm gonna do is go over with some nude lip gloss. This is from Wet n Wild. I love this shade. It's called Sin Nudes. So you can kind of see that is the ugliest swatch ever. I'm not a good swatcher. But look how pretty that is. Got really dry lips. So I just don't do a lot of matte lipsticks. I do a lot of gloss. I just love the dewiness, the shine everywhere, all over my face. See, they just look so much more hydrated and plump with, you know, a gloss. This is a really good combination with that ColourPop liner, and it's super affordable. I think the ColourPop lip liners are $6, and then, of course, Wet n Wild, like, $3 or $4, probably. I always like to spray a little bit of finishing spray on my face, and this is from ColourPop. This is their Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. Love the stuff. I just feel so much better now that I have makeup on. Not saying girls need makeup, you guys, but God, you just, you just feel better. You really do. It's like losing weight. It makes you feel better when you have a cute outfit on. It makes you feel better when you get your hair cut, when you get your hair colored. Just little things like this just make you feel better. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really, really love this foundation it lasts amazing on my skin not saying it's going to work for everyone because i'm more on the drier side right now drier to normal you know in certain spots and this hydrating foundation works amazing so if you're normal to dry you will probably love this love this again don't forget to subscribe like thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching my videos supporting me i hope you guys are staying safe i hope you have a great day a wonderful week and i will see you in my next one bye guys